there's a fish. Yeah. Was that fish? That's a fish. Hello folks, uh, sorry if I'm a little nasally, you hear some hacking and coughing. Still getting over a cold, but starting to feel better now, so I pumped some Tylenol, and now that I'm on the water, I feel even better. Get some fish, and uh, I think I might be back to 100%, but uh, yeah, we got some rigs we're going to throw around. I have a chatterbait I want to throw. I have the drop shot rod with me, and I do have my hit worm on there, so if we can't buy a bite, I always switch to that. And uh, we're going to see what we can get into here today, so stay tuned. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a cast of it out. It's a dink bass, but. On the hit worm. There we go. He's got some teeth on him. It's all right. <laughs> Little guy. First fish of the day. There we go, put that out. He's got some damage to his upper lip there. Looks like he's been caught before and uh, somebody ripped that lip right off, but he should be okay. Then he goes. Put the chatterbait around for a little bit there and uh, didn't really get any action, but I uh, decided to just throw that hit worm out there and uh, we caught on a dink, so. I mean, usually a few small bass in these areas here, so I'm not too upset about that. We'll take it. Good start. I mean, if it's light enough rod, everything feels like a good fight. There's another fish. Oh, that's a bluegill. What was that over there? I don't know what that was. It's behind me. I was busy dinking around with the bluegill. Probably a carp, I want to say. That was a loud splash. Oh, that one hit it. Oh, man. That's how I threw that up. a lot of dinks in here. I had another tiny bass, like same size as that one, follow it. There we go. Oh. Little dink. Oh. On the S Gary Yamo Yamo Bussy, I mean Yamo Tanuki. Tanuki catches fish. Little little guy, throw him back. Oh, little dinker. Little dinker. Not gonna lie, the Tanuki outperformed the hitworm today. So far. The hitworm is not doing great. Yeah, so I made like a fish pen. Oh. A little, it's a little, it's literally, it's really put there, it's a live well. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the first ever live well. 
day of the it's you know there's like day of the dead's coming up day soon right dinks, it's yeah. day of the dinks it was day of the dinks today that's all right is there enough for a video we'll see i only caught one fish on video i think because of my battery died. oh i think i only caught one fish on video okay well oh good morning folks uh we're here, it's the second day of our little two-day excursion. We caught a bunch of dinks yesterday, so hopefully we can get into some big mama jambas here. This is a spot that we've tried the years past, done really well. This year it's been duds every time we come out here, so uh, we're gonna give it a try. It's, uh, it's a little lake here, they call it a lake, more like a pond, one of the few bass ponds in the area, so really hoping now with this fall on, there's some less vegetation, fish might be a little more active, we can get on some good bass, but uh, we're gonna see what we can get into here. Folks, this morning has been less than ideal. I have uh, spilled some mayo on my shirt, and uh, I also broke the eyelet of this rod here. I uh, closed the door on it as I was leaving, and so I'm missing the, uh, the inlet there. A little nervous to use it, but uh, I don't have any frays in the line. It looks to be smooth enough. So for now, we're gonna hope for the best. Throwing top water to start here. Liam just got the first top water bite of the day. Um, hopefully, we can get something going. <laughs> just throwing a uh, pretty compact buzz bait here. No, no trailer on it. I tried with the goat, and I just couldn't get it to really work properly. I don't know what that was. <laughs> What is going on, bro? <laughs> it's like an actual war going on over there. Holy frick. <laughs> Guys, what the frick's going on? <laughs> Guys, seriously, don't play with me like that. <sighs> it's just, it smells like poop. Hey, there's a very poopy smell. God, it's bad. I can't, I can't, like, I can't finesse fish with the smell. It's just, it's, I can't focus. That stank, though. It's, it's... Oh, my God. It literally smells like I'm in a bathroom that, like, someone took a shit and didn't flush. Oh, God. <laughs> we need uh, the YouTube, the YouTube smell of vision. Yeah, scratch and sniff this. That's really bad. Oh, oh, that's horrific. Yeah, I think after I throw top water over there, I'll. Yeah, if I don't catch anything, I'll take it off. Yeah. That's my top water tip of the day. Tip of the day is don't. Don't take it off. Untie it. Oh no, the sun's coming in. I forgot my sunglasses on the other side. What? I forgot my sunglasses in my car. I'll give it that Alabama shake. Alabama shake. Oh, is that a fish? That's a fish. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Oh, he spit it. Nice. Jake fishing. Yes. That's right. Oh, that gives me confidence. Oh, That's Jesus. Nice. That was an awful cast. Just gave me a shower on that cast. Yeah, I gotta re-spool like all my reels, but just because they're all pretty low online. If I just want to wait. Yeah, I what, you were waiting for like a sale? Uh, waiting until like the season's over basically, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I'd rather just wait until Peter's does there. Or if I do a sale, I guess, yeah. Need that high vis line, dude. Yeah, well, I don't think. Well, if you cut your leader. Yeah, but 
still, I mean, it's going to clear enough water. I wish I didn't see that. It's right there. It's a willy pad, though. I, I, tough, though. I just got to get the hook out. Like, I don't think it's hooked in. I think it's just around. This could be a uh, throw the rod situation. Yeah. What are you doing? What is this? What is this? All right, I know that. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna throw the rod at it, bud. Here you go. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to get in. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Check it out, y'all. So what do they do? They just like... I don't know. <laughs> they, just, they just throw it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, they throw it. That's so funny. That's so stupid. Did that work? <laughs> We're gonna see. No. <laughs> I mean, no, that didn't really work. No. Oh, it did. did it? it worked. <laughs> it worked. You just have to throw your rod at your your, your uh, snag, bud. I got everything back. <sighs> it worked. I mean, some might say it was me pulling at a different angle that actually worked, but... No, I think it was uh, throwing the rod at it. I will say it's a lot better not catching fish when I'm not like dying of heat stroke. Yeah, I'm not pissed. I was hoping for a big one, but yeah. I feel like this water just has too much vegetation now, and it's kind of up the fish. Because when we were here before, like the first times, it was like here was like almost open. Yeah. Like there was no issue there. Yeah. Now it's like. Fucky. I mean, in the summer you can't even cast. Like, no. Like, it's essentially a topwater frogging area. I'm not gonna lie, but I think this blue green algae's no bueno for the fish. Yeah, I, don't I don't see anything. Nasty. <laughs> okay, guys. We're uh, leaving. Didn't realize there was going to be an allergy bloom, so we're um, skiddly diddly daddling do. Well, guys, forgot to record an outro back there, but uh, day was a bust, man. No fish for me. Kind of fading. I saw the dead skunk this morning on my way out, and uh, that's what we got today. Liam did catch one or two bass, two bass, and uh, you know, overall, not great. So. You know, last couple of days have been a struggle. This fall bite that people are talking about, I have not been able to find. You know, it's been a few years now really fishing hard, and I have not ever really had a great fall bite, but this year's been struggling so far. So we'll keep getting after it. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, tight lines. Mm -hmm.